anyone interested in the central themes of the last 35 years? The critical ideas, the cultural innovations, the issues that Jews debated. Find those reflected on the pages of Moment magazine. I learned something new from the magazine. It brings me into a corner of experience or a dimension of Jewish life that I'm not really familiar with. I think it's a magazine for anyone who cares about the future of the American Jewish community and is willing to see that future, not in terms of what already is, but rather in terms of what could be. The magazine was founded by Leonard Fine and Ellie Wiesel in 1975 in Boston. Ellie Wiesel was the literary editor and Leonard Fine was the, the founding editor and he loved the magazine and he worked with Carol Kerr and Bill Novak and they made the magazine into something that was very popular within the Jewish community. We wanted something about Israel, we wanted something about American Jews, we wanted something about ideas, we wanted something about literature. After 11 years of putting their heart and soul into the magazine. They sold the magazine to Herschel Shanks. The magazine moved to Washington, D.C. After running the magazine for many, many years with the help of Suzanne Singer, he sold the magazine to us about six years ago. I put the magazine into a nonprofit, and a whole new era of the magazine has begun. I think Nadine Epstein has followed in the tradition that I, I have, but she's improved it. Uh, she produces a an extraordinarily varied product. I mean, you, you look at the people that are writing for it, they're stars, really. What it does regularly is takes this Jewish, unique, particular point of view and pulls it out and universalizes it and makes it relevant to what's going on in the wider culture. If you open Moment Magazine, you will find points of view from the left, from the right, from the middle, from the Israeli left, from the Israeli right, from the middle. I love Moment Magazine. Not because I'm Jewish, which I'm not, but because it's great journalism. I really appreciate the way Moment gets behind the news. It's, it's always relevant. Since its founding, Moment has been an independent voice and it has brought to its readers stories that they could really read and find nowhere else. Uh, and that's really what independent Jewish journalism is all about. As a writer, of course, I go first to the literary section, written by a writer or a both a writer. That is a kind of, of, uh, of, of, of fantasy that one has, that I'll find something that I didn't know about somebody that I never met. I was fortunate to serve as one of the judges for Moment's annual fiction writing contest, but to me it's also very exciting as a reader of the magazine to see those voices as they're just emerging into, into the discourse of American Jewish life. I love the rabbinic section of the magazine where rabbis weigh in on a subject or an, a question that's important. There's a dynamic sense to the magazine. It's, it's a living, breathing, evolving organism. I recently did a cartoon for them called Mixed Marriage. Uh, my wife is not Jewish. We're uh, the woman. I'm projecting my wife is saying, why are you arguing with me? And, I, and the guy is saying, I'm not arguing, I'm Jewish. <laughs> And these are the, so I try to make the cartoons uh, in some way relate to the Jewish experience. I think there's one thing that has survived from the very beginning and it's still there and it's still popular, and that's Spice Box at the end. Moment is a Jewish magazine. How could you actually have a Jewish magazine without humor being an important part of it? I think that one of the things that Moment does that's so important right now at the turn of the 21st century is to be an institution that can bring Jews from across the spectrum together. Moment is, at this point, a print edition, also a digital edition, a website. We have three times a week newsletters. We have a Facebook page, books that we're publishing, and I believe that all of those together create a very strong moment for the future. I'm always amazed how uh, it, it continues to be so good intellectually and from the Jewish viewpoint. It's a very good Jewish magazine, which means it should be read not only by Jews alone, 
but about Jews, what Jews believe in, what Jews hope for, it is there. 